Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains in Charlotte, North Carolina. You know, I probably should get, make more videos about solar power. You can see up here on top of the van where I've mounted six 15 watt solar panels. These came from Harbor Freight and these have been up here about two years. And wow, you know, I haven't done anything to them. I've added some tape here to hold down the wires, but other than that, they've been up there two years. They work really, really good. And it produces plenty of power. You can see my AC here in the back. I get a lot of people to ask me, you know, wow, are you running that AC off of the truck or off of the solar power? Well, of course this runs off of solar power. Let's take a look inside. Inside, got the AC mounted, tape was holding up the, you know, the power cord. But you can see I've got the panels up and running. Right now they're producing 13.7 volts. I've got two control panels and there's two batteries down here. I've got a 2000 watt power inverter. And let's go ahead and kick this on. Turn that on. You can hear the compressor kicking on in the air conditioner. It's blowing pretty hard. <laughs> it's blowing out some pretty cold air right away. But you can see right away when we kick that compressor on, we drop down to 12.8, 12.9, right in there. You can see it changing ever so quickly because it's drawing power out of those batteries. During the day, I can run this all day long. Um, this, this thing draws 800 watt, or, yeah, 800 watts of power. Um, so you need a good inverter to kick it on, but after it kicks on, it'll, it'll run all day as long as there's sunshine, which we've got plenty of sunshine. The sun replenishes those solar cells, charges them up, creates voltage, sends that down to the batteries. I've got two batteries behind this plastic here. This just keeps it contained. And they're 12 volt marine batteries. These two modules, they control the voltage to make sure it doesn't overcharge, um, just like your alternator. No, no problem there at all. Again, what a great system, renewable energy. You know, if you're not using it, you really should. I use this a lot also um, you know, to run machines, power tools, and very much larger machines like our drain cleaning machine. Um, when we're out on a job site, sometimes it's just easier to plug straight in here. We've got plenty of power. You know, during the day, this works really good. The real thing is you, know, you need this at night. Um, if you're using it you know, for yourself or you're camping or maybe you're totally self-sufficient. But using it at night, you're gonna get about maybe an hour, hour and a half of voltage out of your batteries and then it'll draw it completely where it'll shut it off. It's great, you can fall asleep with it. That's what most people need to do after a good hot day and it's still hot outside. You know, you're gonna draw this power out of these batteries really quick and you'll fall asleep. Beautiful, that's wonderful. The problem is there are alarms on these things. So when you get low voltage, it kicks on and of course that wakes you up and then you're, oh yeah, I gotta get back to sleep. Anyways, hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.